It's a game where you just go out there and express yourself. Man, rugby means a lot to me. Um, as a Fijian boy, grew up back home. Uh, yeah, everyone play rugby. But I'm most excited for the, obviously for the game, to play in with the guys that we have in the squad. You know, it's it's like a dream come true. So many things in life are about that sort of competing hard and then you know getting along afterwards. So it's, it just sends a lot of great messages to not only players now but also the youth. Barbarians games are always special. Being part of a World 15, coaching a group of men who most of them I have not dealt with before is exciting for me. And going back to Twickenham is always an exciting place to go to. I, I love the stadium, I love the, the challenges that come with that. When you're playing international rugby, everything is all about the percentages nowadays. You want to kick well, you want to play in the right parts of the field, you want to be set-piece dominant, you want to build a wall in defence. But I think this is different in a way that you're trying a lot more things. You want to know where the space is, you want to attack it, you want to make sure that the right people are getting the balls in their hand and you're giving them the opportunity to express themselves. style of play is probably a little bit more, you take smart risks, do you know what I mean? You, you, the style you play is probably slightly more attacking. You want to express yourselves, free yourselves up and kind of just go out there and, and have a real good crack. I think the funnest part is just that, just that freedom. Um, obviously the license that you have as a barbarian or the license that the barbarians have in, in general, to be a part of that, to be able to have that freedom this weekend, uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. Three words to sum up the Barbarians and the way they play. Expression, definitely. Expression. Respect. Brogue. Yeah, I reckon, mate, the more you can almost play later, the better. <laughs> Yeah, you know, almost like play behind the ruck. Yeah. Unless the ball's really quick, play behind the ruck and then yeah. go. Sweet. Easy. Don't you reckon? Yeah. So I'm just cruising there. Yeah, cruise, cruise. Yeah. Always remember Carter at his best. He used to walk around the field, mate. Yeah, sure. yeah and then bang, then it'd be on. Like, and that change of the pace is the thing yeah, that the tempo on the game. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Easy. Good, mate. Oh, the goal of this game is definitely to win. But secondly, we want to put on a good display that, that shows rugby in a good light. It's, it's really important that the game's played in the spirit that for the people who go and watch the game, they want to come back to the next game. You don't need fucking big passes off that either. Pick them off. Okay, um, so that, that's an option. Uh, and also, I just want to, um, we've got to fucking try some different shit, so uh, I think this is different, you might prove me wrong, but uh, just a 2-2-2, two, 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 and we've got a 10 and 15 in behind the scrum, okay, so we've got a left foot and a right foot, so we've got both, both sides option, open. So nine. We really want to win this game, but we, we, we want to have fun and then come on, on the field, we, we need to have fun too, so we need, we need to win this game. In the game at the moment, and the way a lot of teams play, there's obviously a, a fair amount of kicking involved. But I think this will be a good opportunity just to, to throw it about and enjoy myself um, personally. Let's call it. Um, fuck, I had a name. Check my notes. Something um, to the right. Okay, but you're going to go to the left first. So we're going to go this way, and you keep going. Yeah. Okay, Nick, you get the ball out. You keep coming. You pop out, and then pop it back. Okay, so what has the backfield done? Okay, so there, open side that winger. Right, now kick past to Sibu right on the line. It's really flat. 
kick pass. Just like that. The outcome is will be the outcome. What matters is how we perform and making sure that we have a responsibility that we understand there's a responsibility to play a brand of rugby that's going to excite people, young people, old people, middle-aged people. Anyone that sees it goes, wow, you know, that, that's what rugby's about and I want to be part of that. Gilbert's been great. They've provided us with a ton of kit this year, wearing probably one of my favourite setups from them. They've also got a nice kind of jumper fleece thing that goes with it. That's probably my two favourite things and obviously the training kit. Gilbert, I think with the existing relationship and because they're based in, U in the UK, they understand the specific kit requirements that's needed for a match like this and also greater flexibility because the squads, they're not formulated until quite later on in the process. And so therefore, if they're based in the UK, they can be a lot more flexible on providing kit at last minute with certain sizes. To play rugby, guys, it's the greatest game in the world. There's no doubt about it. You make more, so many friends, people you build friends, relationships forever. But to play in the greatest team in the world, in my opinion, the greatest club, it's a massive thing, guys. And um, Boris being a barbarian, I think, he's talking to Quaid today, I think he epitomises it. Really, it's, it's expressing yourself, putting yourself under pressure. Um, the opportunity we, you guys have got to show everybody in the world how good you are in a real, real, um, huge environment and a massive showcase. It's a fantastic uh, privilege and I want us to have a good week. It'll be short practice. So keep it simple, simple. Remember how much quality you've got in the room. If everybody gives 100% with the talent we have, we're going to have a great day. So I want to wish you well for that and uh, hope we'll have a great week. Our marriage originally was British, you know, British based. But then it's, you know, it evolved over the years. We've got players from all over the world. They started in 1890, and they used to play a lot of their Easter tours in South Wales, you know, Penarth, Cardiff, Newport and Swansea. I think that they were in a r restaurant. It was actually a oyster bar, which was in Bradford. They set up the Barbarians rugby team as a touring club. The Barbarians has a lot more heritage and history. I think most professional players you know, they want to take that off their bu off their bucket there. Playing for the Barbarians means to me, it means a lot. Um, I'm very privileged to be a part of this this setup. It's a weekend, it's a, it's a game where you just go out there and express yourself. You know, you've seen a lot of great memories, uh, great tries um, from the teams of old. You know, we just want to add to that legacy here in this week's fixture. I mean, what wouldn't make me want to play in this match? It's going to be amazing. The atmosphere is going to be great. The crowd's going to be great and you've got Two teams with players from all over the world, top, top players. Um, so when I was offered um, the opportunity to be involved in that, I, you know, bit his hand off and I was, I, I am really excited for it. I think it's going to be a great, great weekend. What made me want to coach uh, this team and this match? It's an opportunity to be involved in a special week. Being part of a exclusive or uh, exclusive like club in terms of the not many people get to get invited uh, to this team so it's quite special in that way. I'm excited it's uh I've been just so pumped meeting all the boys this morning uh saying hello to everyone uh even when the team was getting announced I was scrolling through the team list and seeing some of the players that have probably run over me for the better part of a decade and being on their side this time is actually going to be nice. I think that the spirit of rugby is, you know, for me, growing up, never played at that level, but I always played rugby. But um, I, I think it's just the camaraderie, the friendship, you know, where you can bash someone up, but you know, you, there's no intent really, you know, to go out and hurt them. I think about the word respect comes comes to me in terms of the game being played in a, in a fair and honest way, that you respect your 
opposition um, and has played in a good spirit. So. I think the spirit of rugby is what I think about every time, it's just the people who come and watch the games. The spirit of rugby, what is the spirit of rugby? I think it's when you meet boys, no matter kind of how they've been in games or, or things like that, you know, at the end of the day, 95% of them are, are genuinely really good blokes and it's cool to chat with them um, after a game. To me, the spirit of rugby is you get people of all different races, nationality, occupations, intellect, together playing a game that's complex, trying to make it simple, work as a team, and then come off the field and, and whilst you battle the opposition hard, at the end of the game, it's almost like there's, there's no side. You know, you, you're both together and enjoy the comradeship of the, of the game. The spirit of rugby, to me, I think it's, in a nutshell, all-encompassing. The word respect comes to mind. Like I mentioned before, you know, you go to war with these guys, you compete, but then we walk off the field, uh, you know, 10 times out of 10, you know, you're, you're mates again. For me, it goes back to that kind of amateur club era, training on with your mates, having a laugh, playing on the weekend, having a few drinks together, just kind of having a good crack and everyone's just enjoying themselves and everyone's just part of that, that club and that, that team. So Gilbert's provided us with really good training gear, some nice casual gear, which is it's very sharp, and, and they've done a great job in outfitting us. Some of the kit we've been provided with is part of the solar collection. Sustainable fabrics used in the solar collection will remove 12 million bottles from landfill each year. And one of the reasons why we want to go with them is that they've obviously got the experience of uh, providing good quality kit, delivery on time. I've dealt with several kit manufacturers all around the world. Some of them, uh, the kit didn't arrive on time, didn't get released from customs at Heathrow Airport. Sometimes some kit has uh, not turned up in the right sizes, no sponsors logos on it. But Gilbert, I think with the existing relationship and because they're based in, U in the UK, we can make the appropriate changes at last minute if required. probably the greatest week of your life I really feel that I think that I respect um, that you have for each other when you play on Sunday I'm sure that it'll just grow and uh, the friendships will be there forever the best thing is I think about rugby is you finish no matter what happens you're, you're over it you're shaking hands you're having a laugh you 
usually catch up for a beer afterwards in the after match and, and that's the best part. Um, so many things in life were about that sort of competing hard and then you know getting along afterwards so it's, it sends a lot of great messages to not only players now but also the youth. Thank you.